Hi YouTube, um, this is the final part of the uh, Gremlin Sculpt. I'm finished, finally. So, if you have a look down here. Um, this is how he's looking. Hopefully you can see this okay. Um, let me zoom in a bit. So, yeah, I, I've spent uh, quite a long time on this. It's It's gone 3 o'clock in the morning again. <laughs> for about the third or fourth night running. That was just the painting stages. Um, I quite often end up working at night because, um, you know, I put the kids to bed and then <laughs> it allows me to work after that. Um, but let me show you some of the things that I've done since the last video. So, um, on the face, obviously, I've done the uh, eyes. Um, on the teeth I've gone in, I've done the gums, just painted them red, and the teeth, it's hard to see, but I've um, I've done a sort of yellow oak and then cream colours to give a sort of blend. I've left it fairly dark where it meets the gum line, um, and I think that gives it more uh, sort of impact. Um, on the, the um, fur on the top here for his stripe, I've actually used... <laughs> I used this old toy dog. Here he is. That. So um, quite often I'll just go to car boot sales and things, and I just pick up things like this for a couple of quid. And um, you can see I just end up cutting it to pieces. So originally I was going to use the fur, um, and I was going to cut chunks off and then um, put them in little bunches drill holes in the in the top of the head of the gremlin and set them into holes but actually what I found when I was cutting this fur um, obviously it's got this sort of lining underneath and if you if you make chunks like this just cut chunks out you can see it's all adheres nicely to this stuff it sticks and it, it there's no risk of it sort of pulling out so what I did is I just cut lots of chunks like this big ones to go sort of in the middle of the stripe and then you know slightly smaller ones for the edges um, and then I just glued them on which actually was a lot quicker um, just sticking them to his head saved me a lot of time and I, there's no risk that the fur is going to rip out because um, like I say it's sort of attached to those bottom bits so another thing that I was going to point out here was um, where I stuck it on um, I just used the airbrush, exactly the same colour that I used for the, the blend of the patches. I just did some right at the base of the fur and just kind of uh, feathered it up so it was a bit of a lighter blend. So it goes into the white. So obviously from a distance, you know, his stripe still looks just pure white. But uh, I think just that little hint of the brown colour just helps it blend in a bit to the rest of the gremlin. Um, what else have I done? I've painted all of the uh, claws jet black. Uh, it's probably quite hard to see on this video, but it's um, it does make a difference, you know, in real life, seeing it firsthand. Um, another thing I did was right at the last minute. I almost didn't do this, but um, if I do zoom in here, so a lot of these scales and things where I did the the original cream colour, and then I did the airbrush blend around the edge. I've just gone in and done a bit of dry brushing with a very light cream colour um, just over the top and it's made like the world of difference. It's subtle but I think it um, it really kind of makes things like these bands and things pop out. It really makes them stand out and yeah like on his hand I did just on the sort of the bright spots where the light would hit it I just added some of the lighter cream colour on those top bits um, and yeah on the chest area as well it's harder to see because it's sort of in shadow but um, quite a lot of this has got dry brush really pale cream in it right let me turn it around so here's how he looks from the back not bad I'm really chuffed with him um, He's definitely one of my best sculpts. Uh, a close second would probably be my um, Harry that I did from Harry and the Hendersons. Um, he's another one that took quite a, 
a lot of my time. If you check out my other videos, you'll see him in my sort of studio tour thing that I do. Um, but this guy, yeah, this guy I'm really chuffed with. And uh, he weighs two stone, like I said in my other video, so he's probably one of the heavier models that I've made. Um, right, if you like this video, um, check out my other videos because there are lots with um, you know various other sculpts in that I've done, so you can have a little look. Uh, and any sculpts that I do in the future, uh, I will certainly put up on YouTube. Um, so make sure you hit subscribe and then you'll be able to see anything I do from now on. And hopefully this has inspired some of you to um, have a go yourself because it's a really good fun thing to do and you end up with a really kind of awesome display piece at the end of it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.